to the T is back. And in this video, uh, I'm just, what am I doing? Like in my head, you know, like I'm not really setting up the turbo. I don't have all the parts yet, but I did get some more parts and I'm going to show you guys that. But I also wanted to explain to some people, not explain, but kind of show an issue that I ran into that, you know, I actually found a solution. But um, first things first, uh, I have my Godspeed wastegate. As you can see, I have my turbo manifold mounted right there. Uh, it's, I only have one bolt holding it in, but um, right here you can see my uh, wastegate flange. Uh, there was actually a longer pipe going. I don't know if you, uh, let me show you real quick. There was a longer pipe actually, and let me focus, focus. And it was actually hitting uh, what you see to the left of my power steering pump. And I can't really take that off because it's driving my, uh, my water pump and I need that engine to be cooled. So my flange is on. The pipe was actually running like from there to here and it kept hitting the pump. So I actually had my cousin with the 240, my cousin David, weld that flange on for me. So now I actually have some pretty nice clearance. So, you know, Godspeed wastegate. A uh, 5 PSI spring, if not, if it's not 5, it's an 8 or a 10. Uh, you know, I can compress it with my hand, so I'm just going to like assume that it's a 5. You know, I took the air compressor, like the smallest amount of air lifts up the, the, the dump, so it's, so it works. It works well. So, Godspeed it, you know, two bolts that hold it in. I, I don't have any gaskets or anything yet, so, you know, I'm just, this is just like, I'm just mocking it up, kind of figuring out exactly where everything's going to be placed and how I'm going to run certain vacuum lines to certain places, but two bolts to the flange. Um, I'm actually going to have the dump pipe facing down, or like, I guess towards the back, so once this is in, you guys will see exactly how this is going to work out, so... I can just get these bolts on real quick real quick there's this one right here let that sag a little bit and then I got this bolt right here all right that's in uh, come on a couple more twists so yeah it's hanging down but you guys can see exactly how this is gonna work I'll zoom in a little bit uh, not that much but yeah about that much. Uh, focus. Yeah, so I got my wastegate. This is my vent nipple right here, and then the other way is my from the intake manifold. The pressure to open the wastegate. Still new to this. I don't really know all the terms yet, but as you can see, you know this flange right here. You know the dump pipe goes down, and then you know it vents that not vent to atmosphere, but it goes to atmosphere. So that's how that is gonna work. And then let me show you the other problem that I had with my turbo and how it's mounting. So let me grab that real quick and let me show you guys. All right, guys, so we're back. Let me focus this real quick. All right, cool. So like I said, my turbo has, that was not my turbo that fell. That was actually the piece to fix it. Pretty solid piece. So <laughs> hopefully that doesn't, it's not broken. But as you can see, the turbo if I try to mount it, like if I try to line up, like I can't line up the bolts because it actually hits. Let me, let me actually just, uh, I'm going to mount it up and show you guys exactly, or I'll try my hardest to mount it up to show you guys exactly where the clearance issue is and then how I'm going to fix it or what part I got to fix it. So we'll be back. Uh, so this is the problem that I was having, mocking it up. Uh, this, yeah, it hits my, my, uh, wow. Why can't I think of the name? I know exactly what it does and like how it functions and everything I can think. Brake master cylinder. Yes. <laughs> so my brake master cylinder is in the way. And what also sucks is that, you know, it's not even straight on like the header. Like it's kind of hanging off a little bit. I don't know if you can see. It's not like perfectly square. So that's my issue right here. It hits. Plus, I wouldn't have any room for my uh, for my exhaust to go like on the back of the, on the exhaust side of the turbine, you know, so it's, you know, this kind of sucks a lot, but I'll take this back off and show you guys, actually real quick, the part that fell is right here. Let me grab it real quick. I have this, 
this little, uh, not really little, but this little adapter piece right here. It, it, uh, the turbo kind of sits like to the left because the flange on the on the manifold is kind of it's not straight up. It's kind of at an angle. So since it's at an angle, this is already angled. So you know, see how this is already angled? It's going to sit like this, and it's going to make it straight. So the turbo will actually go up, and it should clear the. No, it does, but you know, past tense. You know, it should clear the the brake master cylinder. You know, if I put this on. So let me sh put this on real quick. You know, just bolt it up real quick, loose bolts, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how how it sits. Cause I put this on before, and it makes the turbo sit real nice in the engine. But what sucks is that when I put this on, I have to get a uh, hood spacers because now I can't close my hood because the turbo sits a little bit too high but it lets me hook up everything else and then the hood's just like the last issue so I'm not even worried about that so let me put this on I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like focus I guess that's focus so this is what it looks like it's a little adapter piece that I just showed you you know makes the turbo kind of sit more uh, parallel you know to the engine I guess so you know now I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the, with the turbo on it Hopefully, I can, well, these aren't threaded, so I can only hold it, kind of. Actually, I have bolts right here, so I can kind of put something together a little bit. But, you know, I just put a bolt oh, right here and right here. Let me see if I can screw one of these on. Oh, actually, no. Uh, I have these. These bolts are too short. These are for the manifold. I have longer bolts inside the car because you know, I have all this freaking metal that these bolts have to travel through in order to get enough thread. So, you know. Yeah. So this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. Oh, but now I have. Uh, yeah, one of these bottom bolts have to go in a little bit more, or something. So now, the, now the weight of the turbo is making the the adapter plate move up. So I don't know. I can show you. Uh, that's all right, I guess. So now that that's on, now you can see exactly how much clearance I have. You know, this this is how it is. Like that's straight enough clearance away from the brake booster I'll probably get a shield for the for the exhaust turbine and then I'm gonna to have to fab up something for the back of the exhaust turbine probably get a flange for the back and then have the have the uh, pipe do a quick bend left and then straight down right there to the floor where it's all blurry and crap so you know this is oh let me focus that yeah, so this is how it's going to look. And like I said, the hood, you know, the hood doesn't uh, close. As you can see, look at how, compared to the top of the valve cover, look at how high that turbo sits. But, you know, turbo, the, the inlet, you know, just goes straight down. So that's popping. And another thing that I actually did some research on today is um, since I'm going to, since I'm new to this, I'm going to be running like low boost. So I actually found out that I don't need an intercooler or I don't need an intercooler, quote unquote, you know, for five pounds, you know, since I'm not going to be having it at such a high boost, you know, the pre like the, the pressurized air inside of the, you know, all the piping and stuff isn't going to be that hot. So the engine should be able to take it. Plus engines take, you know, I read that, you know, a guy compared it to an engine having like a certain amount, like a certain shot of NOS, you know, that, you know, that heats up, you know, that's a lot of heat, you know, you're generating inside the engine and five pounds of boost probably, I don't think, you know, scientifically shouldn't be as hot as you know you dumping like an extremely flammable substance inside your cylinders i'm just putting all this you know you know compressed air into the in, you know, into the intake so this is how exactly the turbo is going to sit um i still need I think t5 or whatever t4 and t3 gaskets you know because this is the bigger this one's a uh, this is a bigger gasket, smaller one. You know, I really don't know the T sizes. You know, I think it's I, I think it's a T4 and a T3 gasket, but you know, I'm gonna do some research on that. Probably get 
that part too but this is exactly how it's sitting guys let me know what you guys think if it looks cool i think it looks cool just because it's a freaking turbo in the freaking car like that's awesome that is mm, that is awesome very very hyped about this very hyped and i can't wait to get this done so i can just like take people on drives and like just make people's days with some boost you know because boost all boost always brightens up someone's day driving that evo brightened up my day so i got this going on right now this is exactly how it's gonna look still need you know the freaking gaskets probably and then the one intercooler pipe you know since i'm only gonna be running five pounds that's gonna be a video by itself me actually seeing if the if it will work you know it, it will work but how efficiently will it operate that's what it's about so tell me what you guys think about the turbo what else you guys might think i would need to do you know for anyone that's already like in the turbo game and stuff so in the comments below let me know give me some input some feedback on whatever you guys feel like you need to say to me about this so my name is two for t have a nice day stay humble please i'm out <laughs>